Hi there, and welcome to the show. You're listening to another episode. Every other Tuesday, I release a short bit about whatever's going on in the Parks household or whatever's in my head at the time. It's a way for you to get to know me a little better in between my rare disease interviews. I'm currently sitting at my mom's kitchen table in Montana. I'm right by the window, and the sun is piercing in my left eye. There are few views that are better than the morning sun from this exact spot. I'm on my second piece of homemade bread, and life is good. I'm looking out the window and watching my little Ezzy and her two cousins. They're swinging on the red swing set that's been there for at least 50 years. And my mom is behind them pushing them all. They're all still in their PJs because there are no rules in Montana at grandma's house. Ford is still sleeping. It's very late for him, but he had a big day yesterday wheeling and squealing. And he's a happy, free little dude here. I have not been able to see my family over the years as much as I wanted or thought I would be after I had kids. And you all know why. Our life is a bit more complicated. And Ford has appointments and he has equipment and going on a trip isn't easy or simple. If you follow me on social media, you know we just spent all of our savings on a minivan that's been modified for a wheelchair. And there's lots more room to be able to actually pack what we need for a trip. And even just as importantly, allow me to attempt it by myself while my husband stays home to work. Well, three days after the minivan purchase, the electric stuff was shot. And when I tell you I was sick to my stomach about <laughs> this happening when life has already been really difficult, I mean, I was literally sick. My in-laws came and helped me get the minivan fixed so I could hopefully still go on the trip for my kids to get to know my parents. They got it figured out. They said it's most likely going to happen again because it's been an ongoing issue, apparently, which is a bummer. But then my little sister, who lives three hours north of me, texted me and said that she was also thinking of going to mom's and would I want a caravan with her? <laughs> my siblings have done stuff like that throughout the years after Ford showing up in moments that would help me so much. And I didn't ask her if she was doing it because I was freaking out <laughs> about this solo trip and the health of the van. And honestly, she wouldn't have told me the truth anyway. And when I tell you how relieved I was and how excited I was for this trip again after she said she would caravan with me, man, I am a darn lucky girl to have this family, these in-laws, these siblings. Oh, and my friends. My pal Jill even dropped off dinner one night when I was pulling my hair out over the situation. So thank you, everyone, for getting me here. To eat this bread and to sit at this window, watching the sunbeams and my kids make these memories with their cousins and their grandparents. It doesn't get any better than this. And quite frankly, I'm glad I didn't have to resort to my prior plans of using the mommy and daughter uh, travel potty situation that I got from Amazon. So I'm sorry uh, if you're disappointed and you were hoping to follow that part of the journey. Um, maybe, maybe next time. 